43 and a half years? I don't think there's any half. 43 straight, right? Ooh, it's here, man. See me looking at you, nigga. Give me your ass, nigga. No, stay away. Hey, They're nervous. They see that camera, man. That's what you do. Doing a bunch of BS. After the tell, running around here to catch up with you. So, uh, be careful. Tell me what you know about that. Tell me what you think about that. The prison industrial complex is a system situated at the intersection of government and private interests. It uses prisons as a solution to social, political, and economic problems. It includes human rights violations, the death penalty, slave labor, policing, courts, the media, political prisoners, and the elimination of dissent. Nigga, did you just say what I was trying to say, but smarter? I like this little nigga. Big Bass Life with another informative, informative, informative video. Today, man, I'm going to tell you about some things. You know, I had a video recently that went super, just went viral out of nowhere. You know, and, you know, it's it's a sign. So, my guy's been getting me, look, man, just go in and start talking about what's really happening. You did 18 years. You know, you did all of this time, man. Employ some wisdom. So, that's what I'm here to do. Now, a lot of times, they're not going to tell you about everything that's going on in the jailhouse. And, of course, you're going to hear about the normal things, the apes. You know what I mean when I say it, all right? The Matt Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. But we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get hard. All of them's horny, all of them got sexual desires, so what are they going to do? If you won't let them have a woman, they're going to have each other. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty, and it's just that simple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, stabbings, gangs, you know, uh, fighting, you know, uh, beefs, drug deals. You know, these are the normal things, but the things they're not going to tell you about is the experimentation of prisoners particularly black prisoners you know with the medical staff you know they used to put stuff in our food called saltpeter me working in the kitchen for over 12 maybe 14 years even up to prison you know working in that system they used to feed us a certain type of food to keep us from getting erections that's not the only thing they used to put inside of the food so they did a lot of experimentation using us as lab rats when you go to prison, there's a thing to where they cut your hair off, right? They cut you off, and a lot of times what they do is they give you a medical uh, checkup, and you go in there, and they will give you a flu shot or the like thereof. They'll say it's a flu shot, or they'll say it's a shot that's going to help you. Now, you can refuse, and it'll be issues, but a lot of people usually get it. I got it. And I think that was a cause of a lot of things that was going on. Now, you had guys in there that would catch staph diseases. They would catch other things that was in there, food poisoning, other things that guards would bring in. And they would take and remove that inmate instead of bringing him to an isolated situation. They would put him on the wings with other people. So the guards in there, of course, they have their own gangs. The guards even have gangs. And they would jump on the inmates, and it ain't nothing but concrete and metal. So when you bounce up and down and hit that metal, you cracking backs, you breaking necks, you puncturing lungs, you are hurting internal organs when you are bouncing off of this stuff. And you talking about wrestling and dealing with five men, six men. They come in in groups to 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 do destruction in Houston, Texas. This is the biggest funeral home, the biggest morgue in Harris County is a Harris County jail. It is sad to learn that this place is so sense of humanity. A lot of these brothers are being beaten, being stumped, being choked, being slammed, necks broken, backs broken, arms broken, internal bleeding, organs being punctured from beatings at the hands of deputies. This is a fact. Enough is enough. And then when they can isolate you when you're damaged or you're hurt or even dead, I've seen them move a dead man 
take and put him on a gurney and not cover his face. And you can look in his face and see clearly he's dead. His eyes is open. His mouth is open. He's not breathing. But they'll take him and run him to the infirmary as if he was alive and they will false document shit and they will run him out and then they'll act like he passed away of something else. They will falsify documents. This is what they do. Now, when I worked in Ag Seg, you had a lot of guys that come in normal, that come to prison normal. For whatever reason, I don't know what the technique is, but they'll pick a guy and they will administer him Thurazine. They will give him Wellibutrin. They will give him all kind of drugs and dope him up and let him go right back out into the prison. And this guy was normal, walking around talking normal. He come to the prison. Now, he might be liable to just take off all his clothes in the middle of the run. He liable to pull himself out and start, you know, doing his business in front of everybody. That would either cause him to get whooped, stumped, you know, possibly thrown off a run. Or, you know, they will label him crazy. When they label him crazy, you don't see him no more. Next thing you know, he's in Ag Seg. He's locked up. And now he's doing crazy things. And they're coming to his cell and they're administering him these drugs. Thursday, they're pumping him up. When his people come to visit him, he's not the same. And they're wondering what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on. They're using us, black men, as lab rats. We are the practice dummies. We are the practice material. Like they're at a football game. They use us as the practice squad to jump on us and beat us. And these are what the guards are doing in there. As you can see in Harris County, they had all of these killing in Harris County. This has been going on. You don't hear about it. So it's best that you check up on your kin folks, check up on your people, because these are the things that they won't tell you. And as far as the LGBT thing, this is something that they promote. If you are gay, they will give you the pick of the litter in terms of where do you want to be at? What cell you want to be in? They will let you pick a job so that as if to say, OK, we're protecting you. Now, this is not all situations. I'm talking about Texas prison. They even got to the point where they're passing out condoms. You know, they're having people from the free world come in and they're pushing this. Of course, black men are the target. And we know this, you know. So the more we have you discombobulated as a group, the more we can come in and who's going to fight for your right and your justice when we killing you already, when we stomping you to death. You're already in there fighting each other over gang gang situations, over money, over bullshit. So these are the things that they won't tell you. Also, they used to feed us and a lot of my, my brothers, my prisoners, ex-convicts, they, they can attest to this if they've been locked up in Texas prison. They used to feed us a substance called Vitapro. Vitapro was almost like some type of form of foam. It was like a foam tissue. And, and for whatever reason, when you digest it, you would like blow, you would blow up. The pigs would need it. So after they throw away all of this slop, they would administer and get this to the pigs. The pigs would need it. The chickens would need it. Did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? Sir? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. It would just sit there. And over time, we would keep it. I remember we kept some in a, in a, in a plastic cup and kept it hid in, in the kitchen. That thing swelled and blew up and blew the cup up eventually it blew the cup up this substance i don't know what it was or what it was designed to do but this is what they were feeding us inside of the prison even in the medical staff we would go to texas tech university that's where they have a lot of trainees at you would go there and they would have you sign a, a waiver to waiver your rights so that they can administer different shots different things experimental drugs you know, so and I've seen guys who went there, got those shots and passed away and they will falsify documents. Oh, he had a mild heart attack. Oh, he had high, high blood pressure. And of course, you're going to have high blood pressure because all they're serving you is, you know, ramen noodle soups with those sodium packets. Those sodium packets might as well be, you know, like <laughs> be guns because they're blowing you up. They're actually blowing you up. But uh, this is Big Bass Life. Subscribe, man. I appreciate it, man. Like, I, my numbers have jumped. 
Everything's is good. I'm medically cleared. I'm good. I like to thank all my Zoom tribers from the Zoom to Thailand that are uh, helping me out on some things. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, till next time, I bet you would do. Large numbers of people. Big bass life. Low level crime. Subscribe. Seems like. To create more. Comment. Rah. Any words for the people? No. Uh, y'all need to zoom y'all ass to the medical department. Because uh, this ain't right. <laughs> this is not right. Uh, hopefully, we get some better, um, get some results, man. You know, if by the grace of God we're able to do these things, man, and have things, and you know, uh, and even with all of this, you know, if I could bring a certain person or some certain people back to this world from the afterlife, I would give all this shit up to do it, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, hey man, you know what I'm saying, we can't take this shit with us. No disrespect, huh? My life a mess, huh? You willing to die for yours, you gon' respect mine. You ain't got time, ticking your rollie is fake. And every nigga you thought was real, I got time today. Back, huh?